All right, today we're gonna do an awesome welding project using only aluminum welding rods. This one's gonna be a lot of fun. I've been a production TIG welder for almost two decades now. TIG welding is something that's brought me great joy over the years, and it's something that I've tried to get even better at at every stage of my career. But admittedly, there was a couple times I was losing motivation and I almost gave it up entirely. There was some things, however, that I did to get motivated again, such as going back to school for getting more tickets, higher certification, all that. That stuff was always very exciting to me. So I was happy to go back and further my skill even more. But there's always been one thing that's always gotten me out of a tough time where I felt like things were becoming a bit stagnant at my job and I needed a change. But that magic pill was creativity. Let's check out an example of what I'm talking about here. So here what I'm going to do is use an aluminum coupon that I've cleaned, I've brushed, and I've detailed the edges of. I've got a cool idea of a piece that I tried once before. I'd like to try it again. As you can see, I'm sketching it out roughly on this plate here. This is just a rough idea of where everything is going to go. This is going to be the perfect way to blow off a little steam from some monotony lately and at the same time brush up on some skills that are very important to TIG welding. So what I'm going to do starting out here is I'm going to build up the middle of the surface. As you can see I'm just adding filler material working it around in a couple passes I'm basically building up the center of where the eyeball will appear later. So basically what I'm doing is just laying down filler in a certain area here and again I'm kind of working with rough ideas as I go but what I'm doing is I'm building up these areas so I have different layers I can work off of. I'm going to stop out once I get a little bit of accomplish here and I'm going to smooth it out with my torch. What I'm doing at this point is basically just checking out the overall shape of it. As it progresses I'll probably add a little bit of filler material here and there. Again I'll eyeball it as I go but this is part of a project like this. Working my way through it, making adaptations on the fly. This is why this stuff is so fun to me. There's been times at work when I'm starting to get really frustrated with what I'm doing. Maybe getting bored of doing something over and over, maybe wanting to make more money, getting a better position at the shop, all kinds of stuff. But turning to something like this has always been a way to get an easy restart on how I'm feeling about things. Zoning out on a welding project like this kind of acts as a piece of therapy for me. But the best thing about doing something like this is this thing is freaking hard. Doing something like this takes massive amounts of patience. And when you're working on something like this, you really have to pay attention to what's going on. Your dexterity is really challenged and your attention to detail when it comes to your welding gets a great workout. Overall, if you take a look at what I'm doing here, it's actually quite simple. All I'm doing is stacking up passes of filler material Material in separate little passes. We started out on a flat plate, which essentially is relatively easy, but this thing starts to get more and more difficult as things build up. Controlling our heat is a really important variable. You could pick the piece up, dunk it into a bucket of cool water if you want. That certainly helps to control the heat. But regardless, things become pretty precarious, and as it gets hotter and more built up, really difficult to control. So when I'm working on something like this, it definitely helps me to burn off some steam, as well as an overall mental reset. But this also doubles as really good practice. Your heat control, your filter and reinforcement control as well as following a plan closely. These all take crazy attention to detail. Basically all these things that we're working on here are all the things I like to include in welding exercises for people. I challenge my students all the time in my online TIG welding program, switch it up. We always want to keep things fresh and to be honest we rarely work on the same thing all the time. Especially something like this which kind of doubles as a fun exercise. I think you can understand why working on something like this is so important to me to do. So as you can see I'm slowly just building things up with different passes of filler material. Some areas I'm adding very little filler material, some areas I'm adding a lot of filler material. Again, this all goes by eyeball. I kind of switch it up as I go, put a little extra where I see it's needed, but this is just a process of checking in with things as I go. So deciding how to finish this pass out was a little bit tricky. I decided on doing a weave pattern. I switched from two steps to three steps, back to two steps, and then finished with one step. This weave pattern to finish it kind of tied up all the separate passes nicely and keep good organization at the end. So one of the best things about working with aluminum is the ability to easily polish it to a pretty incredible shine. Well, maybe not that easy. It takes time. As you can see here, I'm just using a rotary tool and some polish that I personally really like using. This stuff works really awesome. It takes a ton of time to get everything as shiny as possible. But since we're doing just a basic exercise here today, what we got here is good enough for now. Now to take things a step further. I love adding other stuff like this to my art pieces. Let's bust out a little bit of paint here. We'll fire up the airbrush and we'll see what happens. As you can probably tell by now, art has been something that has been very very important to me all throughout my life. I've gone to college specifically for art and even at times in my life when I wasn't doing it regularly, it was still something I followed enthusiastically. Mixing these two worlds together for therapy like this, taking what I love about art and taking what I love about TIG welding and mixing them together, this is one way to keep my love of welding fresh and for sure give me something to do with it where I can basically use a ton of art supplies, airbrushing, different pens, paint, and even in some of my other art pieces, engraving and stuff like that. Taking these two things that I love so much, this is been one of the best things I've done 
with my time. So right now, currently in my life, I don't often get the opportunity to do something like this. It's tough to make the time to do it between both normal working, working things on my business here, not to mention all the family stuff I care about so deeply. There's definitely days where I do not feel like coming in here and putting the helmet on and getting to work. However, many times I almost force myself to do this. And you know what? Not ever do I regret doing it. I always come up feeling refreshed. Working on tough TIG welding stuff like this improves my skills and challenging myself to stuff I'm not comfortable with. I always learn something new. Over the last few years, this has been my cheat code to staying motivated and learning even more about the trade of TIG welding that I love so much. 